Hello, we are here at Homo Dojo at International Encounter 2015 and uh, I, am, I have the pleasure to have here at, at my left the President of the North American Buddhist Society, Hermes Romero from uh, Florida and uh, today I would like to show some of uh, some characteristical small weapon employed by the season mainly at the, at the most recent times. The first one that I will explain you and show you is what it's called the Sogen or Kogen. That are small blade like um, a razor or sharp that uh, you could bring uh, always hidden maybe in the inside of the of the lapel. It's uh, like a small blade that you could have in the inside here or in the inside of the of the uh, of the obi or the hakama also here at this point and was employed it with the following uh, with the following idea one way to perform it's to hold it also hidden behind the finger uh, the index finger and the middle finger like that and this is also employed in order when for example in this case Amazon Nice mass. Yes. When he is trying to maybe to hold uh, me in a different position, I have conditions to put it here close to the close to the uh, beetal areas like the the neck. I could also hold like that and make pressure. And of course, the power that any of the of the controls that you could perform it are uh, are quite much powerful this means that for example if he tries to hold me here on Yakuhami Tekubitori and I do like that of course uh, this will open the, the veins uh, close to the wrist like that and of course any movement that I could do it like that like that any cut that I could reach middle area like arteries on the humeral area or uh, or sliding and cutting the face, the eye. These middle areas, of course, this make it very strong. Also, if you try to to hold uh, the ears, etc. This is one way to employ that. That it's you could do it very strong and cutting in different points in order to to cause a disguise or to or to be capable of uh, of uh, surviving on a, on a dangerous or risky situation. We call also that it's very employed to hold like that between the hands that this is also very employed in order to in order to to wrap when you are doing like that. It's very powerful because you will be cutting the veins, you will be holding for example the arm and you will be cutting here of the biceps on the inside trying to find the arteries here on the humeral area you could hold here and put it on the face, trying to cut the nose, cut the uh, cut the cheek, and also, of course, trying to go to the to the arteries that you will find the jugular and uh, subclavia here, etc. Uh, piercing and also cutting. One important and interesting uh, thing is that many in the ancient used to wear to carry this blade on the on the tabi like that. If I stay on the ground, I could put it between uh, my, my toes here, like that, and I could be walking. But it's also employed when you are maybe on a, on a, on a gathering, if you could uh, hide it, you could also do it like that, and you will be cutting any movement that you will be performing, like you, you, so you will be with a, with a small blade that will increase a little the injuries and the what you could find because if I do that here on the eyes or like that whatever the move I could perform okay I could do it and my blade stays on the toes and it's very important because if you step of course I will take out here the blade in order to perform but imagine that Emerson you are here if he is trying maybe to hold me, for example, like that, to perform, what I will do is when I go like that, I will cut here, I will maybe a step, and of course, stepping here, it will be very painful, I could move, and I could, of course, 
doing like that, it will be cutting. And I have also the blade here. I have taken out in order to see how powerful it could be in order to cut the ice and apply it in different. Then it's a very dangerous weapon that you could employ in very uh, different forms and very different kind in order to apply. The second weapon that we will be starting today, today is what it's called ring bio. This ring is from a, from a ring and this bio it comes from uh, it comes from a nickel from from what it's a cat because it's like the nail uh, it's a, a, a nail of a cat that will be employed. It's a, a ring that you will be bringing. They used to have like that and they have the ring in the in the like here with a small hook that will be uh, on the inside part with a poisonous sting and when you take out because it's protected you could apply in very different reasons like for uh, very different forms like that for example Hermes uh, if he is trying to grab me for example anyway we could apply it to make that the ring moreover you are getting you are empowering your hole you could also uh, inject the poison into the veins then you will try to reach maybe here cutting and this will cause in of course several piercings that will cause that the poison get into the circular system of him then of course you could do whatever and you could employ this uh, ring in order to continue stabbing with it of course that you could also empower it when you are holding like that because the, the, the ring will be also strong here and will cause pain here you could enter like that and of course entering it's very important going to the eyes going to the face grabbing the ear here in order to tear you could hold like that and this could be happening in very surprising situations like for example if I am uh, threatened by an enemy that he is coming to me or he is trying to watch me what I could do is I cut and I could escape on a normal situation because this no one will care because no one will care that you are having a ring in you and less that this ring has a poisonous sting in the inside part. They also could change the ring direction and also in situation in order to strike and cut. If you are caring that this could happen, it's a very important, uh, it's a, a very uh, yeah, nice way to use this rigger. Then this is Rimbio, then this is the, this class for this small weapon song from the CCM tradition. I hope that you have enjoyed. Please keep watching our channel and see you on uh, keep updated to our to our videos on this international encounter. Thank you very much.